I'm worried that we're not going to be able to do this. It's a very tough loyalty mission in that to do it perfectly or properly, we have to defeat the enemy. But it's optional. You can just survive like a countdown also, timer. Also, I've been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. And surviving the countdown timer is enough to make it through the mission. But mm, I don't want to, you know, we want to do it properly. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Bio. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Okay, look, give it a chance. You know, it's not so bad. We got this cute Baron guy who follows us, follows us around. Shepard, what can I do for you, my friend? I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Who cures a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? You can really tell that Grunt is young because his head plates aren't even fused, let alone a single piece or scarred. You know, and a scar is considered uh, kind of a necessity to be considered a worthy Krogan. I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Adolescents. Can't we just take him to Omega and buy him a few dances? I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Excuse me? So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Hunt well, Shepard. All right. Varen knows we're getting out of here. Um, Varen doesn't know that we're going upstairs. That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Fix it. So you don't have a place so to try. We can see. Oh, what's this? The useful inquiry has concluded that a combat BI that went so rogue on Lord was not intentionally upgraded to full AI status. Alliance members have maintained that the VI was for combat testing purposes only. Given these findings, it is unlikely any charges will be filed. Don't crowd him. Turn back, human. 
I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Don't think that carrying this whelp of a Krogan makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to eject you. You seem like a well-traveled Krogan ambassador. I am. Then you must know who I am. And you have to be aware that bad things happen to those who oppose me. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the ambassador to Urdnok, Clan Nakmor. We're a small clan based in the Kranic Wastes. If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral, who faced down the tombs of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. What business does Clan Nakmor have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka. And we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. Good to hear. I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Nice talking to you, though. You didn't warn me about this guy, Baron. Give me a reason. Okay, who do we talk to first? The shaman or this guy? I may be young, but I relay the wishes of the females. That's important. It is. I respect that. You go beyond yourself, Gatatar Uvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right to ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. Erdnot Rex has given us permission to seek clan status for Grunt. Permission? <laughs> that is good enough, if lacking in spirit. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Grant stands against him. He has no one. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Grant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf? We stand with Grunt as shipmates and comrades. Shipmates are not the same thing. But I grant you aliens your simple interpretation. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. What the hell is your issue? What have you got against Grunt? It doesn't matter if one of our own made him. He is a manipulation. He may as well be the genophage in the flesh. The genophage defines the weak. My bloodline will make us stronger. You sound like Rex, bringing radical change that threatens our core. We have gone too far already. This is about politics. You maneuver like the Citadel Council. Does your Krant also fight with words? You dare slander me in such a way? Yeah, I do. Impressive. You challenge with words, their natural weapon. And your craft sees how your position weakens, Uvank. Shaman, you cannot decide in his favor. What about Krogan tradition if you pollute the right? You, you dare. I was a warrior before your mother was born. I speak with the authority of centuries. I decide who is worthy. That is the end of it. Other means to oppose this. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. Do we need any special equipment? To begin the right, 
Only the candidate and his craft are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial, and he will succeed. Is that Krogan gonna be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. Wow. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. We're ready. Let's do this. Excellent. Foreshadowing. I'm sure Uvenk will turn up. Maybe. So, it was recommended to bring Garrus. For, you know, dialogue reasons. But I'm not convinced that Overload is a good option. Armor piercing ammo would be great, but it's his loyalty uh, unlock. So not of much use to us. Disruptor ammo also not very useful. Incendiary useful, but pull field not. Frag Grenade and Rapid Shadow Strike are, but Overload probably not. No. Mm -mm. Definitely not. <sighs> Incinerate, probably yes. Neural shock, maybe. Full cry of last, probably not. We really need stuff that's going to soak through armor. And I don't know if we have anything that's gonna do that. I think there are three contenders. Jacob, Garrus, and Zaid. Jacob's bringing shotguns and incendiary ammo. Zaid is bringing concussive shot and sniper rifles, but Garrus also has concussive shot and sniper rifles. The only thing you had is disruptor ammo, but that's not really going to be helpful. It'd be good if we could upgrade you an, enough in incendiary ammo, but I guess we go back to our original plan of having Garrus with us. I think fortification isn't that great, so we'll sink another point into incendiary ammo. We haven't got any more points. We can't upload you anymore, which is fine. I think for us, it might be worth putting the point Maybe into cryoblast. We really we get one extra second of freeze duration, which is just not great. You're really only upgrading it so that you can upgrade it to level four. Half a meter, extra damage, 
extra half half a second extra of incapacitation duration. I guess the overload does. Uh, if anyone has a shield, which I doubt, but you know it'll be useful against that. And it overheats weapons, which is good, so they can't use weapons. I don't think it's worth sinking points into anything at the moment. So, we'll give you your crazy shotgun. That's the basic one that we don't care about. I guess it doesn't really matter because you're mostly going to be using your shotgun. For you, I'm actually curious to know what's better. Seems like the heavy rifle is like does more damage per shot, but because the Vindicator rifle pulses out damage, it means that they'll stay in cover more, which you kind of have to be mindful of with someone like Garrus who's a little bit more squishy. Um I'd be curious about the sniper rifles as well. What are you doing, Lizzie? Are you chewing your better part? Wait, it's saying the mantis? This is saying that aside from the M98 Widow, the 92 Mantis is the best, like the starting rifle. Effective against armor, very effective against armor. No information. I'm going to go with very effective against armor. And then for myself, I think maybe we won't take the arc projector.
think the Sika missiles will possibly be best for this. I wonder if this article has anything about heavy weapons. Actually, they're recommending the Geth Pulse Rifle, so okay. that the phalanx is available to research or buy as well so maybe we should get that as much as I love the card effects but I forget that the phalanx has much better accuracy all right look I'm gonna take your advice internet you better not be lying to me This is Tachanka's most recent scar, the last surface city to fall in the rebellions. The keystone was at the heart. It has survived wars and the passage of centuries. It endures, like the Krogan. If you wish to join Clan Erdnot, you must contemplate the keystone and its trials. What will happen? Who knows? You must adapt. You must thrive, no matter the situation. Any true Krogan will. Okay. So, it's very Let's tempting started, to hit that hit straight keystone. away. But, um... We'll get the... Benefits first. Get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. I know you're keen, buddy. First of all, change weapons. Let's get started. I'm going to save the, the power keystone. cells. Um, and the med kits just in case I genuinely need them. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Good to Let's see get there's the ammo lying around everywhere. Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. Could you just be calm for a moment? So we just have to remember that there's at least two power cells Let's get started, Shepard. Hit the keystone. and two med kits still lying around. Let's get started, Shepard. Okay, calm down. I think we've looted all of the corpses. First the Krogan conquered the Chanka and mastered a natural world only we are fit to hold. Oh 
Oh my god, what the hell was that? Hey, what comes? Oh, is this Baron? Did we miss one? Blah, blah, Eight pairs of clicks up. Cool. <sighs> I really don't want to do this again. So I'm quite intent on making sure that we need to trigger the keystone to Yeah, I know. Rights. I'm quite intent on making sure that I don't miss any opportunities. 
absolute this place. I am acutely aware of the fact that we have to trigger it. Don't worry. Ready for another round, Shepard. Attack the keystone. Well, you tap it if you're so keen to get going. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I may actually genuinely we need, need to that the kit. to continue. Then the Krogan were lifted to the stars to destroy them in the fears of a galaxy. Is and that thing gonna drop again? Crikey. Oh my god. Time to fight. Oh, put them down. Like no ammo left, so yeah. Right on your Take it. Is that thing gonna like open yeah. up? Okay, these things are chasing me. And now I can't move. <laughs> I am stuck. I am familiar. Um, I am gonna need this. 
you are gonna need you this. I don't know what you're gonna use. The keystone. We must have to trigger it again for the next part of the race. Yeah, I know. I know, honey. I'm just really scared. <laughs> What's about to happen? Where does it come out of? That took so much ammo. <laughs> oh my god. You live. And you brought down the Thresher Mob. No one has done that in generations. Dwardmot Rex was the last. <sighs> my cramp gave me strength beyond my genes, which are damn good. True. Your alien found weakness in some of my cramp. I wonder. You say you are pure. Okir constructed you? No alien meddling. The best Krogan traits are distilled into Grunt. He's designed to be perfect. Being designed is the problem, but not made by aliens. And he is truly powerful. That is a tolerable loophole. A what? A reason to accept you. You are a mistake, but your potential could tip the current balance of the clans. You spit on my father's name, on Shepard's name. But now you stop ranting because I'm strong. With restrictions. You could not breathe, of course, or serve on an alien ship. But you'd be clan in name.
talk like he's a thing. You're after his power. You don't really want him in your clan. Of course not. I didn't really want to cooperate with Clan Erdnot either, but I had to. Clan Gadatog is on the verge, either of greatness or of joining the dust. Well, then why not join I get Clan Erdnot? Support if I fight you, and reformer support if I back you. Your rite of passage tipped that balance too. It's your choice, Grunt. Sounds like an easy job. That's the problem. I'm pure Krogan. Ulrich, you were the pretender. Your head is valuable, whether you're alive or dead. Just try to take it. You've been spotted. Okay. Switch up. Get ready for close combat. Let's switch back to regular guns. Yes. I really need What I didn't realize is that we couldn't pick up that other stuff, so that's fine. Eh, it was a couple hundred credits. It's alright. Good grief. You have passed the rite of passage, earning the honor of clan and name. Many survive, but it has been years since a thresher mob fell. Your names shall live in glory. Run, you are Erdnot. We now own property. Join the army and apply to serve under a battle master. Shepard is my battle master. She has no match. Understood. Congratulations, Erdnot Grunt. Accept this token from Fortak. His weapons are the finest we have. What were you called before you became shaman? I gave up my name when I became the shaman. I am a conduit for the rage and bloodlust of my people. It would be wrong to retain my old identity. My life belongs to the clan. I want to know about Tuchanka's past. Tuchanka is a place of great gifts. It kills the weak torments the slow and destroys the stupid. Survival is an honor, and here, Krogan thrive. We cover this planet with our civilization, only to burn it to the ground a dozen times over. Each time, we grow stronger. When we are wise and powerful enough, we will tame the planet forever. I've never heard anyone say that wiping out their own civilization was a good thing. I'd have thought you, of all aliens, would understand, Shepard. The Krogan empires and clans of the past were glorious, 
built in great battles and conquests, but their cores were weak. How else could they have fallen? When Krogan civilization achieves its apex, there will be no stopping it. No stopping us. Tell me about Krogan rites and ceremonies. You have seen the rite of passage. Krogan suffer the rite of life at birth, and the rite of honor when they wish to be considered for breeding. The rite of firsts is suffered before a Krogan faces a new enemy. A clan leader also undergoes many rites in service to the clan. What rites did you go through to become Chief Shaman? Becoming the Shaman is excruciating. I pass through rites that make me wish to die. I carry the scars on my soul. I must perform rites each dawn and dusk to keep me bound into our Krogan nature. Our spirit is one of violence and death. I must be attuned to that. Your job is awful. Indeed. Mm -hmm. I should go. May your foes be strong enough to keep you sharp. We can use this. Um, I always find it funny, like, when you get extra things at the end of uh, a mission, kind of like when you find the research, but if it's purely at the end of a mission, you still have that animation thing with the sound, like, we can use this, and it sounds like so un, uh, like, inappropriately comic at the time. I don't care who you are. The female clans don't see anyone, ever. Okay, Nick. Settle down. Don't you again? What can you find up, Borden? I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Yeah, look at my little Baron friend. Look, he's following me around, not you guys. So, what does that say about you? you? Plates to try. We are going to take Britain to you and kill the pressure model. Yeah, that's right. Here. As if it does, it's Rex himself. Yeah, we're that cool. It was really hard, though. You just can't help <laughs> making trouble. No one has killed a maw since my turn in the right. Next, you'll tell me he's a Clint and craps dark matter. Guess that's what it takes to replace me. You are Erd not Grunt. Welcome. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. Wait, where you going, buddy? Okay, now we should get a discount. It's been a bloodbath ever since Urza's handler was exiled. We go to the journal. Ah, I see. We have unlocked Samara and Thane's loyalty missions now. But I know that that's not what's going to happen. Ooh. This will trigger next. So while we can, you killed that Russian mob on foot. Yep. Welcome to the clan, or not grunt. Honored to be a part of it. I've got a few minutes. Speak. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Um. Once Don't again, we were advised that. Garrus has the most unique dialogue in the loyalty mission we just did. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I did not hear him say a single thing. Is this discounted? I can't tell. It doesn't look like it is. Maybe do we have to. As I understand it, Clan Erdnot has a new member. 
correct? Oh, you're our new warrior. The shaman gave you the customary upgrades, I assume. He's fast to pass on my work as his reward. Use them well. The Lord High Researcher for Clan Erdnot has no time to make replacements. But perhaps I can offer a discount. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. Oh, he's researching these things. I never thought Pyjacks were that bad. I mean, obviously they're bad if they're eating their food supplies, but... You know, they're eating food because they also need to eat. This doesn't look discounted. Just gonna throw that out there. Uh, we need to think about who we're going to take on the next big mission and then based on that what weapons we want to upgrade so I'm thinking Samara uh, not Samara cheerleader what's her name is going to have to come Miranda. Don't know why that took me so long to think of. Oh, well, I didn't even think of it. Um, now, she has overload and a biotic. Is it warp? Maybe? So I think we should take another biotic. Maybe a biotic. Who can use a shotgun? Like Jack. Um... Or maybe a biotic like thing because then cause he has throw right so that could be a good combo anyway but we have to think about what weapon upgrades would be helpful for that too bad we can't afford this and this because it would be good to get both um And once we get back on the ship, it's going to automatically trigger the thing that we do next. We'll see what is recommended. For the most unique dialogue, bring Garrus and Jack. I'm surprised not. They seem to always say Garrus. But I feel like. Um, I feel like Miranda's an important person to bring on this, right? So maybe I'll bring Miranda and Jack. We should just consider this a bonus 
because normally, like we've done six missions, normally you would have only done five. So if we take Miranda and Jack, we'll definitely benefit from the biotic damage. We'll also benefit from the heavy pistol damage, but Jack I'd probably <laughs> give a shotgun, which is already somewhat <laughs> upgraded. I think we get more uh, benefit. Again, dark in my lab, human. You must have more questions. You must be working on something important. For the new clan. The Solarians? Yeah, actually, wait, forget I said anything. Sounds like the new clan. You more, talk to him directly. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. He's always so cranky when we talk to him. I just want to show because this doesn't look discounted to me. Maybe it is. Maybe this is normally a hundred thousand. Maybe I messed it up. But I'm gonna reluctantly choose uh, the biotic damage. This might be useful. Ooh, which is five of five, which is good. Which means maybe it was the wrong choice. A human killed the threshold on foot. Yes, we did. Always want more shock absorption than those babies. Ignore them, Joe. They're not worth the effort. Not worth the effort. Look at this guy got following me around. Here you killed him. Welcome, Erdnot Grunt. My name is Ratch. You and your cramp will find many items of interest in my store. The human is my battle master. Of course. There's not much here for humans, but you can take a look if you want. I should go. Suit yourself. Oh, well then, perhaps. We should get the phalanx pistol because it is very good against armor but we must remember it is not good against biotic barriers we got the money let's Maybe I'll equip that one for myself. And then the hand cannon for Miranda. Erdnot has increased his strength after the destruction of Clan Warlock. In addition, killing the Thresher Maw has produced... Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Florians who fall. Go to the Clan Leader. Erdnot Grunt, you go where you want. I have work for you if you want it, Erd not grunt. Just set the human aside and let him talk. What did I tell you, hon? Isn't it beautiful? Okay. Away from all that high tech we will reluctantly go back to the Normandy. I guess. Seems a bit dirty though. Oh, it was good having that voice <laughs> as we took off. Or I might go and do some research. Oh, shotgun. So it's not just the palladium holding us back. Good. It's tempting to get the collector armor right. You know, to wear when you're going. Because, spoiler alert, the next mission that we're about to be forced onto is the collector 
uh, ship mission. And it'll look dumb, but it'll also look hilarious because we'll be amongst collectors. It's really focused on health though, and I don't know if new if that's what we need we need damage because the best defense here is offense um is this a good opportunity to retrain away from the frag grenade and towards something else Who's loyal now? The only one that might be good is Mordens. So let's save and then we can change our minds. So if we do a different, uh, it costs us element zero every time, but we can always just go and mine more of that. I wonder if it'll be effective. And I wonder if we'll get one or two points the next time we level up. Let's see if it's effective against barriers because I think that will help us decide. Unprotected. Uh, for any bipedal organic that has protection, whether it's shields, armor, or barrier, it'll stagger the enemy. So, uh, I don't know if it's worth having, or instead, retraining specifically for this mission so that it's almost exclusively like incinerate, explosive drone, cryoblast, a mechanic and points in nothing else. bit cheaper too. So 41, we can train 10 things to complete, uh, four things to completion, and then one thing to one. So if we had to pick four, it'd probably be, ah, uh, with the caveat being incinerate only unlocks What we have to unlock these others. So the four that we would pick is probably one, two, three, four. So it's n not an option to do it that way. Look how far that fell. Uh, 
Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, we could... Actually, I just came up with something. I just had an idea. And no one's gonna like it. No one cares, actually. I don't know why I said that. So. Instead of choosing mechanic here, actually, we get more health. So, because I was going to say maybe we pick Demolisher instead because it gives us increased power damage. I'm not even sure that's that good. Okay, we do it just for this mission and then we change it back. Is even worth unlocking this. <sighs> I suppose it's better than having nothing, right? Maybe it isn't. Okay, 
Maybe. The elusive man. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything you I should You have unread message. Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Thank you, Detective and Anne. Glad you didn't die. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad. I'd not dug. I'd much rather you go and hang out with the females than join the blood pack. Oh, thank God the fish is still alive. Now that's right, we have to get our armor ready. So, currently, shield strength, health, power damage, shield. So shields increase by 10%. Storm speed is at 10, power damage is at 5, health is at 5. Or we can wear this dumb armor. Power damage is 15, shield strength is 10. So the shield strength is the same, but basically the other things are being moved over to power damage, which I think is worth it, even if this looks really dumb. Maybe it's time for a change up of the outfits. I've never really worn this around the ship, so let's give that a go. It'd be good to know where we get the other ships from because I want them. So it was Samara and Thane. We'll talk to them quickly. Oh, Hi. I'm glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. We can do it. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife. Which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Tell me about her. She is an Ardat Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran. 
and I am sworn to kill her. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, made it with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. Sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. I wish I had chosen the dialogue option to ask her about her other children. Because um, she said destroy her children so it makes me curious as to whether this has befallen her other children but oh, alas oh, women's restroom oh. Oh, do these guys have any more dialogue oh nothing <laughs> it's very ominous when they have nothing to say I think I said that last time when they have nothing to say that is a problem people are talking out there I hear it all. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. Indeed. Okay. And you wanted to speak? Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. I fought him. Runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. Put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I 
attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. That's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyat. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is. This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they grabbed her body in sea lines. Weighted him with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled in you. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I always thought this was a choker. It looks like a choker, right? The thing that we're wearing. But if you look closely, it's like our flesh is fused to it on the bottom, particularly in the back of our neck. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating look. until you need me. Oh, it's gross. Like, from the front, you're like, huh, oh, it's a choker. Cool. Kind of goes with the whole uh, colonist outfit from the back. Wait, is it, has my skin fused to the base of it? Gruesome. So now we can't talk to anyone because everyone wants us to do their loyalty missions. The man wishes to speak to. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing, right? Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Okay. So the stupid elusive man wants to talk to us. So we'll leave it at that, I think. Because the next mission is a long one. 